the growing outrage over an immigration arrest in California. ICE detaining a father as he was driving his pregnant wife to the hospital to deliver their baby. Authorities confronting them when they stopped for gas. The father missing the birth of his son. Here's ABC's Marcy Gonzalez. Sobbing in this gas station, Maria del Carmen Venegas was just hours from giving birth. She and her husband were on the way to a Southern California hospital for a C-section when you see these SUVs surround the couple's vehicle. Immigration agents then putting Joel Ronalada in handcuffs and taking him to a detention center. Venegas saying her husband has no criminal history. When I asked why are you taking him, they said somebody had reported us, she says. The family's attorney saying they believe ICE may have been looking for someone else. Venegas then driving herself to this hospital. Tonight, happy her newborn son is healthy, but devastated her husband wasn't by her side. Saying it's very hard because he was always there and he would say everything will be okay. ICE explaining in a statement Lada was in the U.S. illegally from Mexico, adding ICE continues to focus its enforcement resources on individuals who pose a threat to national security, public safety, and border security. However, ICE will no longer exempt classes or categories of removable aliens from potential enforcement. We understand that he is, uh, everyone's a priority for removal uh, under the current Trump administration. But this one where a person is driving his pregnant wife to the hospital, we think should have been handled differently. And Lada's attorney says he's working to have him released on bond, but that could take several weeks. Tom? Marcy Gonzalez reporting for us tonight. Marcy, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.